Today we're going to be checking out this guitar right here, the LTD M207. I did do a video on this before, and before we get into this one, I have one tiny little mod to make to this. Hey everybody, my name is Jonathan. Welcome back to my Pink Room of Doom if you're a returning viewer. If you're new here, welcome. Please make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell notification, all the good YouTube stuff. We have lots of fun here, review a lot of cool guitars, talk about them, play them, all that kind of good stuff. Don't want to miss it. If you want to support the channel in any other way besides just subscribing, links in the description to my Teespring store. You can pick up a shirt, hoodie, whatever I got going on over there. Uh, i got codes on there for you guys to get a little bit of a discount because I love you. Um, with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about this guitar a little bit more and why I just slapped this sticker on here. So this is definitely one of my more interesting acquisitions. This is an LTD M207. It was made in Korea and I believe the year 1999 based on the serial number and some information that I can dig up online about it. This is a really, really cool guitar. It's a seven string with a Floyd Rose. I've never owned one of those before. I always figured that would just be an absolute nightmare, but uh, this is a really, really nice guitar. Well, it is now that I've cleaned it up and kind of put my magic touch on it because um, there's a reason that this biohazard sticker's on here and uh, maybe it's what you think. Is that shit? Yeah. For the record, it was never confirmed if that's what it was, but I wasn't about to find out. So I've now deemed this my biohazard LTD. And I gotta tell you something, this thing absolutely kicks ass. So I'm not a huge seven string player. In fact, I'm not really a huge like S type person. Typically I stick to single cuts, Les Pauls, things like that. But this thing caught my eye mainly because of the price. Um, I think I got it for like under $200. I can't remember as of filming this video. I've had it for a little bit of time now. But this is a really, really, really cool guitar. If you're looking for like an entry level seven string or like even like an entry level Floyd Rose, it's great, and I'll talk about that in here in just a second. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and talk about it a little bit more, and I might play it a little bit more for you guys here in just a second. Reverse headstock here. I've talked about why I prefer reverse headstocks, especially with like a seven string. Um, you get to the higher tension, meaning you get more distance from like the nut to the actual tuning peg here. Really, really helps with like down tuning and your strings not being floppy, tuning stability, all that kind of stuff. Up here, they say nice and tight, so you can get those nice, really low kind of power chords and then up here bending is just a dream because you know you have less tension on the lower string so reverse headstocks i think they look cooler and functionality wise 10 out of 10 they're great Unbranded tuners on the back, nothing really special there. This one is missing the truss rod cover. The locking nut here is interesting. It's got, instead of three screws, it's got four. So two in the middle here, which I guess helps because it's got that one extra string. I, I don't know. Moving down to the neck, it's a maple neck. It's not like a super sticky neck or anything. It's actually really, really fast, really slim, really, really comfortable. I tend to prefer thick, chunky necks, but on shredder type guitars, I mean, obviously this is the exception. This thing feels fantastic. It's not like super duper wide, like you would think a seven string would be. It is wide, it's wider than normal, but I can go from this to a six string with like minimal adjustment adjustment time. It, it's fantastic. It's got these really cool like arrow inlay things on them. The M207 on the 12th fret is LTD and ESP like to do with their model names right there on the 12th fret looks fantastic. I absolutely love it. Uh, it's got 24 frets. 
and one of the most beautiful rosewood fretboards I have ever seen. Obviously, it's been cleaned up and oiled and everything, but man, this thing was a trash to thrash, garbage to glitter, whatever all those other uh, kind of like restoration themed shows do here on YouTube. This was definitely one of those examples and it shined up beautifully. Bonus points if you know the channels that host those shows. Anyway, going on to the body here, I think, I don't know what the body's made out of. It really doesn't matter what the body's made out of. It's not super duper heavy or anything. Um, it's got maybe a little bit of neck dive to it if you put a strap on it just because the neck is a little bit heavier It's a little bit wider all that kind of stuff, but it's finished in this Metal looking black color here. It's got its nicks and dings on it again if it's a 1999 Which it at least is early 2000s if anything, but I'm gonna call it 1999 from there to now here in 2024 It's gonna get battle scars battle wounds all that kind of stuff, but it adds character to it so uh, it's got its nicks, dings, scratches, all that kind of stuff, which I don't really care about. Duncan Design pickups. I've played numerous guitars and still own guitars with Duncan Design pickups. Not that pickups really make the biggest difference in the world. Fight me on that. I mean, these don't squeal. They're not microphonic. They get the job done. They got nice, clear output. And uh, they're not even raised up that high. And they are just fantastic pickups. <laughs> Three-way switch, one volume, one tone. That's really all you need. Uh, going down here to the Floyd Rose. This is a licensed Floyd Rose. Um, so it's probably like a 1000, maybe a special. It doesn't matter. I don't want to hear anybody argue about this. If you can set these up right, they stay in tune. I don't care what you have to say. Cheap Floyd Roses, people just don't set them up right. because I have licensed Floyd Roses out the wazoo here from all different years. If this one's from 99, I've got one back here from like maybe 04, one back here from like maybe, maybe 08, 06, somewhere right around there. They're all from different years. They all set up fine. If you know how to set them up, they will get the job done. And I actually have a video showing you the best way to set up a licensed Floyd Rose. Go check that out, it's on my channel. I might, again, leave a link in the cards or in the description. Just go scout my channel, you'll find it. Yeah, man, this thing, for a seven string with a Floyd, it is an awesome guitar. This Floyd stays in tune. It's nice and easy to use. You don't have a lot of tension on it. It's not like super tight or anything. It's got four springs in the back because I think it needs four springs. Uh, otherwise you're gonna be fighting this thing to try to get it in tune and everything. Uh, I think that's an, again, another thing that a lot of people don't realize is the number of springs and the spring placement in the back is super important. But anyway, I'm getting off topic. And then going back here to the biohazard sticker, yes. There was some mysterious crusty brown substance here and it was just not not a good time to deal with because this thing was just caked and all kind of crap. Literally. Ha ha. Boo! You stink! Uh, so I thought the biohazard sticker would be kind of funny. So there it is. The biohazard, not an official name, but my biohazard LTD M207. You've probably heard clips of me playing throughout. If not, I'll throw them at the end of the video. I'll decide in editing. And that's pretty much it. Hey, thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click my logo somewhere on the screen. That'll help you get subscribed to the channel if you're not already. If you want to check out some of my other videos, there should be some boxes coming up right over here somewhere. You can click one of those. It'll take you right to it. And if you want to support the channel in any other way besides just subscribing, check the link in the description of any of my videos for my Teespring store. You can pick up a shirt, hoodie, sticker, whatever tickles your fancy. And until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next video.